Hello, I'm James Smith for Fight Now TV in Las Vegas at the IBA gym. Robert Guerrero readies for his May the 4th showdown against Floyd Money Mayweather. We caught up with the ghost who gives us his fight plan and a prediction. So a pro 12 years from featherweight all the way up to welterweight, 30 years of age now. I, but I feel you're in your prime. You look strong at a buck 47. How do you feel? Oh, I feel great. I feel great. Um, you know, I'm coming into my prime. Coming into my prime, uh, you know, I'm a fresh 30-year-old, uh, so, um, you know, I, I'm excited. I'm excited. I feel great. I, I just can't wait to get out and fight. According to your dad, you'll get stronger at age 50. <laughs> yeah, like him, uh, you know, he keeps getting stronger and stronger himself. So, uh, you know, um, you know, we just got to keep on working, keep on working hard and take care of myself. All right, what I said about Mayweather going into this fight, he's a rhythm fighter. How do you beat him? You got to disrupt his rhythm. How do you do that? You got to make him uncomfortable. How do you do that? You got to apply pressure, but it can't be typical pressure. You got to get on his ass early and often and be unorthodox. You're not going to hit him in the face. You're not going to hit him in the ribs. You're not going to hit him in the solar plexus. Hit him everywhere else. That's what I think you need to do. You know, you got to go in there and fight an intelligent fight with Floyd. Uh, you know, he's a very sharp guy, very smart in the ring. Uh, you know, that's why he's 43-0 uh, and 0 because, uh, you know, these guys, they have their game plans. and, and um, But they don't stick to their game plan. They get in there and they seem to get mesmerized with the defense. Oh, yeah, definitely, uh, you know, the adjustments Floyd makes in there and, uh, um, you know, the stuff he does in there, it, you know, it frustrates guys and, uh, you know, they end up losing it you know, halfway through the fight or, or even sometimes walking into the fight. So, um, you know, that's why I say it's about being smart, you know, using your head in the ring and, uh, you know, maintaining your game plan and, and being able to make the adjustments. Do you, have you watched a lot of, obviously you've seen the guy fight for years, but ha have you and your dad and your team studied film with what you can do and how it'll work against Floyd? Oh, definitely. Uh, we study film. Uh, you know, I mean, he's pound for pound the best fighter. If you don't study film, you're crazy. Right. So, um, you know, you, you got to study, break it down and, um, you know, we pick out some things here and there that, uh, that, that'll work. And, um, you know, you, you build your game plan around it. And, uh, you know, also you got to be ready uh, to do different things because, like I said before, Floyd, uh, you know, he's able to change direction and do different things in the ring. And you got to be able to do that also. How has the outside the ring struggles with your wife's leukemia, how has that helped prepare you for all of this? I would think one thing it would do is teach you that's about life and death. This is a damn fight. How, 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 do, how do you feel about that? Um, yeah, I mean, you know, that right there with my wife, uh, you know, that really made me grow as a man. Um, you know, so, uh, you know, it makes you mentally strong, you know, being by your wife's side, you know, as she's fighting for her life, um, being a caretaker and, and taking care of her at the same time, uh, you know, it, it makes you a mentally strong person. And um, that's why, uh, you know, that's why I laugh when you said, hey, you know, this is just a fight compared to that. And, and it is. It's just a fight. So, um, you know, that, that's one of the things that... Um, you know, that I got out of, uh, you know, her whole fight out of, uh, um, you know, fighting for cancer is, uh, you know, getting mentally strong, being mentally strong, being able to hold it together and being able to, uh, um, you know, push through. What's going to happen on May the 4th? And new pound for pound champion of the world, Robert Guerrero. All right, I'm going to tell you, your dad and you, think Carmen Basilio, Jake LaMotta, Gene Fulmer, watch the films against Sugar Ray Robinson, fight hard and dirty. And you got a chance on May 4th. <laughs> hey, you know what? You just got to be ready to, to, you know, do whatever you have to do to win the fight.